Hi guys, this is Showbiz. So guys, in this video, we will talk about how to create a project and authenticate my ASP.NET Core MVC project to Active Directory, Azure Active Directory. So let's get started. So here we have in the portal.azure.com, the very first thing you have to click on the Azure Active Directory over here, left hand side, just select App Registration. Here we have an option for New Registration. Click on that. Here we have to fill this form. So it is asking for name. I am saying the show with demo one is the name. And here we have to select the supported account type. So as of now, I'm using default directory single tenant. And here we have to put a redirect URI. So the URI I'm using is uh, localhost. And you can use it as per your application. 41222 and uh, so this is the URI I am using and you just need to click on register so once everything is fine you can see over here we have a client ID tenant ID redirect URI is still there and uh, you just need to click on the authentication option over here and here in the bottom we have an option for id token just select on that and click on save it's saved now i just need to copy this field so i have to go for the client id just copy it put it on my notepad so that i can use in my mvc application and uh, this is the tenant id tenant id is same and uh, we have a redirect uri so i just want to copy it so that we can further use it in my application so this part is done now go back to the visual studio over here we have to create a new mvc project so i will select mvc and dot net core mvc project click on that next you can give any name so i'm saying show bit one click on next so after five or six seconds, it will create a project. So project has been created. Here we need some new get packages. So for that, just right click on show with one project. And here we have an option for manage new get package. Click on that. Here on the browse, we have to we need a Microsoft ASP.NET Core authentication.azureAD.ui package. Click on that, install it. Another package is Microsoft Identity. So, Microsoft Identity.web, install it. Both the package has been installed on my machine. So, the next thing is we need to go over here in the startup.cs file here in the configure service we need to add this services dot add authentication add authentication here we have to pass open id connect default for that we need to using a namespace and here we have to specify a authentication scheme also here further we have to go with add microsoft identity web app for that we have to use microsoft identity dot web And further, we need a configuration. So I'm selecting configuration get section. So the section is Azure AD. So let me quickly create this section into the app setting.com, app setting.json file. So this is the structure for that and client ID tenant ID has already replaced it 
okay everything is fine so now one more thing is required here in the authorization we need authentication also so use authentication so everything is done in the startup.cs file now we have to click go into the home controller here we have to put an authorize attribute so an another thing is we need to change the redirect uri so i am using this port 41222 let me check whether i am using the same port or not no i am using different port so let me quickly change it make sure this is https localhost this is http right so let me quickly start it and see whether we have any error or not if we have then we will change the redirect uri so application has been running it is asking for the permission i say yes here we have an error for the url right so url is not correct so let me check what's wrong in that so I need to go into the my application which I have created in Azure over here just click on the here we have a redirect so here we have HTTP I need to make it as HTTPS because my application is running on HTTPS okay so let me quickly start it again and see whether it works or not okay now you can see over here it is up and running and logged in successfully so i'll try to open it into incognito mode and okay now it is asking for the now it's asking for password and now we are able to successfully log in into the application so guys that's all for this video in this video basically we learned how we can connect our dotnet core mvc application using azure active directory if you have any question you can email me or you can put comment on my videos so guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you